So we got some cool, some interesting news that just came out of New York. So as we know, the training camp just recently started and uh, there's gonna be some scrimmages starting. There's gonna be some preseason games that are coming up. So for today, they didn't really do much practicing or anything like that. It was kind of like some onboarding stuff, if you will, like physicals. And I think they had like a media day and stuff like that. I don't know if anyone has seen this video, but it just warms my heart. But the point of this is one thing. Coach Double G was asked about the line. Now, if any of you watched my video on the line possibilities, I shared a thought that I thought would just be really cool because, you know, it would be amazing. And I didn't really quite think it was gonna happen, but it looks like the homie Galant is giving them a chance. And what I mean by that is this. So these are the lines for the scrimmages. Yes, I know, wonderful. The reason why it's wonderful is because of the kid line staying together. That is just glorious. Now, Galant was saying, you know, it might not stay like this, but this is what we're going to roll with. So they're going to do some scrimmages, and those are the lines that are going to be coming up. And I'm guessing they're going to test out these lines in the preseason as well. Unless things just go terribly wrong in scrimmages, I'm pretty sure they're going to test it out in the preseason games. Which is really amazing. Now, uh, some people, I noticed, I was reading through some comments, and some people were like, oh my god, play on the first line, that's crazy. And then, wow, the kids just did so amazing, you're going to reduce their playing time. Listen, first of all, just because you have a third line doesn't mean you need to play them like a typical third line. Your fourth line could play the most minutes out of the entire team you can do whatever you want so i don't think them being on the third line is indicative of like their playing time he's going to play them as much as they deserve to be played it's just more of organization you know it's like you're not going to put zibanejad and Kreider on the second or the third line or panarin on the third line or whatever like you're just not going to do that it, as far as like the label is concerned but as far as like the play on the first line honestly it really could work i mean for a little while uh Goodrow was on the first line and maybe it kind of brought down the offensive power or whatever output but you know it did work out pretty well obviously there are some better combinations that you could do but still like you could make it work and play when he played those few games for the rangers he was looking really solid i really think he can keep up and he can do really well again as i keep alluding to this coming off the injury you know we'll see how it goes but he's been working forever they say he's at 100 percent. he's tired of practicing he just wants to play like I, I really have high hopes for him i think he's gonna do fine maybe you might need to switch that around a little bit if they don't like mesh because even if he plays great you know again they might not mesh but it, on paper right now it looks good the second line panarin trocek and kravtsov that sounds pretty awesome again dependent on kravtsov but again i think he's gonna do really well it just he was doing well before and he's just had more and more time uh that he's been irritated you know being not on the nhl squad and i know that man is hungry he's gonna put him that work especially getting an opportunity on the second line like pff, that's pretty solid throughout the year will we see him bounce from third to second i mean it's very possible but either way he's getting this great chance to just like show himself off and that's just great also that line together them three I don't know, kind of got a good feeling about it. I know Panarin's not going to be playing with two new people this year, but he's like super friendly, amazing. I mean, come on, like I just think it's a recipe for success. And then obviously that third line is just, just wonderful. The kid lines together so happy because they play so good together. Uh, so, you know, it'll be really cool to see them um, kind of branch out and see how they do. They obviously have great chemistry, so I think it's going to go pretty well. Will they get split up because maybe, let's just say they're all playing amazing, but Blade isn't really working out and they'll move. I don't know. Glenn does say if people like to play together and they're playing well together, he keeps them together. So even if Blade doesn't work out I, and the kid line is working out, I feel like he wouldn't break them up. Pretty much they have a chance to stay together if they do well, and I think they're going to do pretty well. Obviously for the fourth line, there's a bit more question. Um, Goodrow, of course, is coming off a broken ankle, so they're taking it a bit slow. I don't see anything saying that he probably won't make the opening game, but perhaps he might miss a few preseason games, or maybe he'll play like limited minutes in the preseason games. We'll see how it goes, but either way, they're taking it slow for right now. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video on those lines because um, that got me really excited. I was really happy to see that... Um, just I didn't expect those lines to really kind of be the lines which gives again the kid line a chance to be together so um yeah gonna be pretty cool to see how this works out and yeah that's all I got for you guys so thanks for watching and take care